Welcome to another video on Vento Nuovo's Black Swan. In this one I'll be covering uh, naval combat. Um, and the combat is actually taking place here in the central Mediterranean. And so as not to clutter the board, I've actually uh, decided to resolve the battle uh, in Turkey. Um, I actually tend to do that also for land battles because, you know, as you can see, if there were a land battle taking place in the Soviet Union, for example, it would also be relatively easy to mix up pieces and everything. So Turkey is actually a fantastic place um, to resolve battles. Anyway, uh, that's a bit off topic, but um, in this video I'm going to explain to you how naval combat works. First, um, the opposition discs. Uh, fire simultaneously, if both sides have them, and hits are applied to the strongest unit. Well, I've actually already rolled, and uh, fives and six are hits, and hits are applied to the strongest enemy naval unit, and which one is the strongest might actually differ, of course, uh, after each hit is applied, and if two units are of equal strength, then you can choose which one you want to apply the hit to. Normally, of course, that would be the cheapest unit, but there might be certain situations in which it might be handier to choose another one. For instance, if a certain class is already fired and you want to um, keep the unit that hasn't fired yet as strong as possible to inflict maximum damage, for instance. So that could be an exception. But normally, you would choose the cheapest units to apply hits to. Well, as you can see, fives and hits are uh, fives and sixes are hits. So actually, all of these were misses. Now, then, uh, heavy surface ships uh, face off, and normally speaking, also in this case, if both sides have the same unit, they fire against each other. So the British uh, fired one die, and they actually scored a hit, and the um, the Italians. Uh, fired back with three dice and scored two hits. I haven't actually applied them yet, but that would mean, of course, that this one would be destroyed and there would be another hit which would be against this one. So I'll apply them now. So this one would be destroyed. Um, the Italian unit also suffers a hit. And then I actually made a mistake here. So um, this one would have only fired... Um, no, this one would, of course, fire three dice because the um, hits are applied simultaneously and I would apply it to this one. Um, so this one would still roll three dice, not two. Don't remember the other result, but it was a miss. But anyway, the reason I put this uh, thing here is to indicate that this unit now receives a hit bonus because at the time of firing, each block fires um, separately. There is no opposing heavy class uh, surface ship unit anymore on the British side. So this one gains a hit bonus. So this four is actually also a hit. So it's applied against this unit. It's the only remaining British unit. So that one is down to two. Now, these two units are going to face off. I haven't actually rolled yet. So that's what I will do now. So the um, both sides roll two dice. And let's just see what the result is going to be. Hits are applied um, on fives and sixes because there is no one opposed bonus. Each, uh, well, the other two are misses, but each side rolls one hit, so both are reduced by one. Now, finally, the Italians still have three. Um, by the way, light surface ships. I don't know why, but light surface ships can never. Um, uh, get an unopposed bonus. That, that is only applied to aircraft carriers, which weren't involved in this battle, and heavy surface ships. Now, um, uh, by the way, aircraft carriers, again, they are not in this particular battle, but had they been, if unopposed, so if there are no enemy uh, um, aircraft carriers, uh, they get to choose their target. The same is true for submarines. So uh, the submarine, uh, they don't get a hit bonus, um, but they, so they roll on fives and sixes normally. Um, but they can actually choose their target. Now, in this case, of course, it's nothing too special because there's only one British unit left, but had there been other ones, they could have chosen their target. Now, um, actually all three are misses, so the British uh, really <laughs> are very lucky here to have at least a single unit remaining in the C zone. Well, after this, you just place the units back and update C control, but I will 
um, I will show you the uh, C-Control um, procedure in the next video. I hope this video has been helpful to demonstrate how naval combat works. And by the way, if you also own Orange Swan, uh, which is the Pacific version of uh, this game, um, the rules have been really clarified there. Um, it's, it's really a clarification, it's not an errata. Um, because it was always intended to work like this, uh, but it's explained very well in the Orange Swan rulebook. Um, and I hope this video really uh, visualize it, visualizes it for you as well. So um, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again on the next video, which will be about updating naval control. Thank you for watching.